Here's the truth. Abortion ends a human life. The science is settled. By three weeks after sperm meets egg, the baby's brain, spinal cord, heart, and other organs begin forming. That's about the time when most women notice they're pregnant in the first place. By week four, we've got early facial features. By week seven, the baby has toes. By week nine, the baby is developing external genitalia. By week 10, the baby has started growing fingernails. And that's all in the first trimester. That's the least controversial abortion period. But we treat these innocent human lives as junk for the garbage disposal. During the first three months of pregnancy, doctors plunge a tube with an edged tip into the womb. They then use the suction power of the tube to literally tear apart the child while it's alive and then suck the pieces out of the mother's womb. This is called suction aspiration. Unpleasant? Try dilation and curettage. In this version of abortion, doctors use a curette, which chops up the baby inside the womb and then scrapes it right out. As the baby grows, the methods of abortion get uglier and uglier. There's dilation and evacuation, in which doctors use a forceps to crush the baby, including its brain and spine. The pieces are then removed. And as a last resort, doctors use partial birth abortion. Democrats love partial birth abortion. This is a procedure in which doctors use an ultrasound. They find a baby's legs with the forceps. They pull it into the birth canal. They deliver the entire baby except for the head. And then they stab the baby in the skull with the scissors, insert a suction tube into the skull, and suck out the brains. This is also the preferred method for ensuring that the internal organs are best preserved so Planned Parenthood can hawk them to Big Pharma. Taken in total, these various forms of abortion and others are used to murder approximately 3,000 babies every single day in America. That's over a million babies a year. That's 55 million children since Roe v. Wade. The media want to keep us blind to these facts, or perhaps we want to blind ourselves. But by blinding ourselves to murder, we become complicit in it.